Hi, hello, hi. So uh, today, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my houseplants and talking to you about my houseplants. I really love plants. I really love houseplants. I've always called my followers my little sprouts. I've always felt like a little growing sprout. I've always been really sad that I couldn't keep plants alive. That's been my big, deep, dark secret all these years is that every time I get a plant, it dies. However, recently uh, I've moved into a new place and prior to that I had bought like some little plants and I read a lot about keeping plants alive, especially succulents, and I was able to keep these little babies alive. And we moved here and the air here is a lot cleaner. We had a mold problem at the old place. I don't know if that affected the plants. Anyway, we got a lot more light in this place as well, as you could tell by the fact that I'm actually using outside light and not my ring light although I am using that to like light up the background. It's okay, that's too much information, it's fine. But now I have these house plants and I've kept them alive and I've watched them grow and it's been really therapeutic for me. <laughs> and I just wanna to talk to you about that because it makes me happy. So I'm going to introduce you to all of my house plants and I'm going to talk to you about uh, why I identify with my plants and how taking care of them and watching them grow has been therapeutic. This is gonna be uh, probably as thrilling as it sounds, so uh, buckle in. Some of my plants have like some bite marks on them. Uh, that's not me, that's my cat, as you would assume. Uh, he likes to bite plants, so I often have to close the door to here so he doesn't come in and chomp them. So please excuse some of these plants that look like they might not be thriving. It's because my cat sometimes, you know, chews on them. Oh, he knows. So I have my little watering tin. I'm gonna see if any of my plants need to be watered uh, and I'm going to introduce you to them. So here is my first and favorite plant. Uh, I think it's a jade plant from what I've been told. It was about like half this size when I got it and I grew it into this big beautiful baby. Can't really tell if it needs to be watered or not. I'm not great at keeping plants alive. I usually Google a lot of things. Uh, I know that it's better to wait till the soil is completely dry before you water them because it's better to underwater than it is to overwater. Uh, this is my favorite one just because it's a big bubbly boy. It looks so like huggable and squishable. I feel like I would want to be friends with this plant. I mean, I'm friends with all my plants. I, you're listening, I know, I'm so sorry. It just, it seems like a very friendly plant. Okay, um, I aspire to be this plant. It also, in a weird way, helps me feel better about myself because it's like my thickest plant and that makes me feel better about being chubby because I'm like, well, look how cute. <laughs> um, anyway, I think, I think we're gonna water this boy today. So I've recently put all my plants in terracotta pots because terracotta pots breathe better and they drain better. So that means that, especially with succulents, it's common for them, Kyle, it's common for them to, it's common for them to get overwatered um, and they could develop root rot if their roots aren't able to breathe enough. You could also kind of see this like wet spot here where it looks like the plant is sweating. Um, that's from if there's extra water in the pot, it'll kind of like seep out, but also the pot is absorbing humidity from the air so the roots get more water, which is good. Um, I have a little dish at the bottom of all of these, so when I water them, extra water drains into here. And I've noticed my plants have gotten like way bigger and way healthier and way more like open since I moved them into these pots, so I feel like they're just, they're doing, they're doing better. I also rotate my plants because as you can see, this plant is starting to tilt. If I would let this plant be positioned the same way every day it would fall over. So I have to rotate this plant uh, to make sure that it doesn't exclusively lean one direction, which is toward the sun. But I think it's so cool and so cute that like the plants move because they want to be in the sun. How how cool is that? It's this thing, it's, it's alive. <laughs> this is my second plant. There are some spider webs. That concerns me. Uh, so I don't know what type of succulent this is, but um, it's another one of those really healthy plants. It's just, it seems really resilient. Uh, Kylum has bit it a couple of times, so it has a couple of uh, piercings going on near the, the edge there. But despite that, it's been doing really well. Again, I try not to overwater this one. This is another one seem to need the least amount of water. <sighs> like I said before, I wait until the soil is completely dry. You could fix underwatering by watering them without killing them, but it's hard to fix overwatering because it, it's not really like you could get the water out of there. And anyway, I got this watering can at Ikea, by the way, it's really cool. It fits like under the plants, like where the, the roots are. This is one of my spiky boys. By the way, none of them have names yet. I'm afraid to get attached to them because I'm worried that they'll die and then I'll die from sadness. So this is a spiky boy. <laughs> um, this one has gotten so big. It was half this, it was like literally like, like this big when I got it, this little tiny baby. And uh, it's grown so much. This plant surprisingly requires like way more water than the others. 
when I took it out to repot it, it's like its roots were so dry and so light, like, like white colored. And whenever I water this one, the water tends to go like straight through the soil. So it's almost like it has trouble like grasping onto the water. I've tried a different soil mix, but I mean, the plant is doing well. It's just a very different watering experience from the others. So I try to meet each plant's unique needs. My cat is angry because I feel like he could like sense a disturbance in the forest. Like someone is touching the plants and I'm not there to see it. I would let him in, except he really doesn't know how to behave himself around the plants, especially if I'm touching the plants. He's like, oh, I, I help. I help with my chomps. I admire the uh, enthusiasm for botany, but um, biting the plants doesn't really help them. So anyway, we watered our spiky boy. Now I'm gonna put him back, rotate him a bit. I have a lot of plants by the way, so this might be long and I'm sorry if it's not entertaining. Um, this is more a video for me than for anyone else, but uh, I hope you're enjoying it. This is my fourth plant. <laughs> uh, this is another one that I really love. I think I prefer the like thick plants uh, over the thin ones. I mean, I love, I love all of you equally, I promise. But I really do like the thick ones. There's something about them. They're just, they're cute, you know? They're just, they're, they're bubbly. I just, I don't know. This one had um, some mold growing on the roots when I first got it. So he's healing and he's come a very long way. Okay, and we just, we don't want to overwhelm him. Okay, all right. We're gonna call this one Aaron. I'm kidding. This is my fifth plant. Uh, I got this plant at Walmart and it was like kind of dying when I got it because it was in Walmart with like no specific special lighting. It was like, it was really, it was limp and not a, not a happy color. So at first I tied it together with like some floss, but then it started growing because this boy was thriving. Um, so with a suggestion from someone from Twitter, thank you friend, I got these little bamboo skewer sticks, like the ones you make like barbecue brochettes with, I don't know what you call it, anyway, those. Um, and I put the little sticks in the earth to hold it up and look, look, look how, look how big. All of this part here is new. That whole, this whole branch here that wasn't there when I got it, it's growing new leaves on top. So I'm going to rotate this one and just put it back on the windowsill and I'm going to water it tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like getting, getting a plant and nurturing it and keeping it alive and realizing weeks later that it's grown so much when like day to day I'm looking at it and it looks the same every day but then like weeks pass and you're like oh my god I didn't like there's all this growth and I didn't even realize it's just it's such a metaphor at least to me for like healing and growth because every day things tend to feel the same it doesn't always feel like we're healing or we're growing or we're changing but then you look back like a year ago especially as like a trans person let's say if you start hormones or something you don't exactly feel all the changes every day but you look back a year ago or a month ago and you're like that's a huge amount of change it's a huge amount of growth so what i like about these plants this person outside is looking at me please stop sir what i like about watching my plants is that it's like i get to watch that growth happen and it happens to them and that reminds me that I'm also growing, so it's just this really nice little relationship we have going on, and I really, I really enjoy it. Next, we have this spiky boy. So this, this baby right here, um, this one and the other two I'm about to show you were plants that got really chewed up by my cat. He just went to town on them. They used to all be in the same pot, but then they grew too big, which makes me really happy. But anyway, they were all in the same pot, and Kylam kind of went to town uh, when... I didn't realize he was in this room. However, despite that, they are still doing quite well. This is another one that surprisingly requires a lot more water than I would have thought. Um, I pour the water in and it immediately goes straight through. Uh, it also bubbles up a lot at the top. Like it seems like the roots have a little bit of trouble, not trouble, but just take a little longer to absorb the water. So they tend to require water a little more than my other larger plants. Whenever I feel that they're not getting enough water, what I'll do is I'll fill the little saucer at the bottom with water. Uh, it tends to already have some water in it as the water falls through. And that allows the roots to potentially reabsorb a little more water and they have just a little more time to drink, which I understand. Sometimes you just, you need a little time, you know? This is my only plant with a name and unfortunately is also Kylam's favorite plant to chew on. I don't even know how he gets to this plant so often, but you could see there are a lot of little bites. But uh, anyway, this plant is named sage. The reason why is because I find it looks like sage. It might be a sage plant. I have no idea. <laughs> this is another plant that almost always has dry soil, so it needs more water 
than my other succulents, uh, but still for some reason a little less water than those spiky boys. Those spiky boys are just, they're thirsty, you know? They just, they need lots of fluid, which I understand. I am also always dehydrated. Uh, but yeah, this plant is resilient. I am very worried about it because of the fact that it's gone through so much trauma because of Kylum biting it all the time. Um, this new growth is kind of falling over a bit, so I'm thinking of maybe putting in a wooden skewer to just kind of, like the plant is leaning. I'm thinking of putting in a wooden skewer to straighten it. There you go. So sometimes, you know, just like the rest of us, sometimes our plants just need a little added support and that helps them heal from their past traumas and helps them grow and keeps them healthy. So yeah, that's what I've done here. Here is the final of the three succulents that were initially planted together. Uh, another one that Kylum tends to kind of gravitate toward, but so far, uh, aside from maybe like three bite marks, I've been able to save this plant. This one is also a little dry. I'm hoping I'm not overwatering them because sometimes, like with this plant, it is really hard to tell if it needs water or not. I just have a little more trouble reading this plant. It's a different type of succulent. I feel it's more leafy. So far, so good. It uh, has like tripled in size. It was really, really, really tiny when I got it and it's grown a lot and it's been through a lot. So we're just, we're really proud of him. He's come so far. So that's it. Those are all of my plants. Thank you for tuning in for this really chill video. Uh, it was really nice for me to get to film that. I have another secret plant, but I'm not going to show you that plant. That plant is getting its own video. But <laughs> anyway, I really hope you liked this video every now and then just throwing in a really chill thing because Sometimes we all just like need a minute, you know, and sometimes I just want to talk about the things that make me happy And sometimes the things that make me happy are my plants. So thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right. Thanks <laughs>